Welcome to Lifestyle. I'm Denise Simons, your host, and this is a show about bringing life into your home and helping you create your style. And we do it all by giving you tips and inspiration and all the resources you need to create everything you see on the show. Well, if you're anything like me, when it gets 60 and sunny, which it was about a week ago, I get spring fever and I am ready to clean everything and do some maintenance on the house. Well, my husband and I went up in the attic. We took everything out of the attic. We had costume boxes, Chinese parasols. uh, We had a safe and guitar cases. And you have to ask yourself, that's when you've got to decide, do we discard, do we keep, or do we give to charity? You know, I had to ask some hard questions. Will we ever know the combination to that safe? Will I ever be the green fairy of the Moulin Rouge once again? Well, you got to decide, right? Well, I know all of you are going to want to do some maintenance on your home too, and I want to give you the resources. We've got them right here. Did you know that your windows can actually be causing some damage to the interiors of your home? Well, Mary Claire Reynolds is here from Solar Insulation, and she's going to be telling us how we can protect our interiors. We're also going to be talking to Brett Gordon of Echo Views. Hey, he's my go-to guy for windows and door replacements. You know your door is really important. It says a lot about your home. We're going to be talking about all of that, but right now, Erlene Mandrell, she's a good friend of our show, and she's rolling up her sleeves and going to show us how to install an engineered floor. Take a look. I'm a girl who doesn't mind a little home improvement. Well, I've painted, I can hang wallpaper, I've made window treatments and installed them. I think I've done just about everything. And then I met my match. She's here, she's a musician, she's an actress, she's a model. You've seen her on Hee Haw and Love Boat. But my favorite is Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters. I'm so glad Thank to be you. here with you, Erlene. Oh, I got to meet you before and then saw you at the home show and I feel like we're old buddies. I know. We have so much in common. That was the thing. You started talking about all the home improvement. I didn't realize that you were such a self-proclaimed do-it-yourselfer. But you are. Well, you know, because of the home show, I got to see a lot of different things. And you walk by there and you go, hmm, that looks easy. That's not (laughs) always as easy as it looks. But once you learn to do anything, it becomes easier and easier and fun. And so rewarding, you know. And you said that all of you girls help each other with projects. I mean, you're a real roll-up-your-sleeve type of family. We do. Uh, You can walk through. uh, This is Mama's house. And we all moved in with Mom. Um, Louise isn't. But, I mean, me and my kids. When Daddy passed away. And now I'm doing projects projects here but in Gallatin when I had a house out in the country it's like I redid tiled all the floors upstairs and downstairs there were some rooms that I laid the flooring that we're going to be talking about and so I was here at mom's house and there was a little bit of a just kind of a bend where some water had gotten from the sink on uh, the uh, laminated flooring Uh huh. and she goes can you replace this and I go well you know it's tongue and groove you can't really just replace that area and I don't even know if I can get enough of that because it's been a while right so let me just do it all of course when you're doing the um, tongue and groove you tend to go from the bedroom to the bathroom yeah, there's to no the closet <laughs> yes so it goes I want to ask you because um, we're going to talk about today we're talking about laminate and uh, engineered flooring but where did you get all of your tips I mean did your mom and dad teach you how to do some of these projects or did no you? Um, actually growing up with with dad um, I was 11 years old, I started on the road playing drums. We were always on the road playing music and I didn't really go into projects when I'd get home, you know, when we right. weren't doing that. Of course, being young, we'd be doing schooling and right. stuff like, or practicing. So I guess when when I had the house in, in Gallatin was because it was an older farmhouse and I just see things I wanted to do and I was doing the home show then. And I actually figured from my uh, youngest daughter, she she was born there, that I was there for mm, 16 years. So I had plenty of time to do a lot. <laughs> I know, and you can learn a lot, and so many of our viewers are going to learn so much from you today. Well, let's talk about the laminate floor. We have had the biggest discussion about laminate and how uh, there's now there's the plank. I'm actually holding up a plank laminate floor that has the sticky on the edge, and I started in one corner and worked my way out. When I got to the wall, what I like about this is you score it with a razor blade, and then you just pop it, That's so you don't even there. need tools. That was 
actually the easiest way, yeah. right? That, that sounds a lot easier because yeah. I, <laughs> I <laughs> actually... <laughs> so are you kind of wishing you'd done it? I know. <laughs> well, after it's all said and done, then I, you know, you yeah, feel you're great. great. But, but now what you've got is looks more like a wood plank. Uh, this is what I did for Mama's house. And you actually, it has the tongue and, tongue and groove. And I'll show you in a little bit, how, you know, how you how can do it. How to install it. But you have to, um, on this one, it comes in the one size. And then you have to cut it because nothing can be the same size. You know, it has to be staggered. So you start cut, both cutting the first right. piece. Now let me ask you something. Are you using an electric saw with those nails? Oh, <laughs> you cannot keep long nails, I tell okay, you. Okay, so you short. cut those. Okay, just a little tip there. Okay. But, yeah, I do a uh, table saw. It's real easy. It just comes okay, straight so down. Okay, so nice. you cut that. And you're going to be demonstrating how to put this in as well. Yes. This particular laminated flooring is one piece. It comes in this size. And the pieces I'm going to show you are already cut because they were scrap pieces that I had left over. But what you do is you have to start by cutting a piece because you do not want the same size all the way across the floor. If you did, for one thing, it wouldn't look as pretty. It has to be staggered or you would have one line all the way across even and that also wouldn't be secure. So you start by cutting a piece and if I was going to start on that side, I would cut a piece and put this in next to the wall because it's tongue grooved on the ends also. So you can only have the cut pieces by the wall. So the rest of the time you're not allowed to cut anything. Everything has to be tongue and groove. So this end would go into this end. And on the first piece, you might could be able to slide them in. And they'll go down. If this wasn't cut and it was long, you'd have another piece. When you get to the wall, like over here, not only are you going to have to hammer these pieces together, because what happens is when you put a piece, when you start getting pieces here, they don't just slide in, they stay up. See how that stays up? And then you have either a rubber mallet, or I like to use this. It's just called a tapping bar. And you put it to the side, and then you get have a regular hammer. And then you have to tap it along the sides until it lays down flat. That makes it secure. Now we already have the trim here, but you still need to only come like a quarter of an inch away from the wall. And you can't lay this on top of each other because that's tongue and groove. That wouldn't stay. Then you not only would be hammering it up like this and making it go to the next one, but you can't have it on top of that tongue and groove. You have to hammer it together. So when you get right next to the wall and you can't get the hammer behind there, and then this won't go behind here, but you got a pull bar and then it's shaped in an L so you can hammer on it. And you also have to make sure that you don't have too big a space back here once you put the trim in it covers it. I love that all of you Mandrill sisters are so talented in so many ways and now you're encouraging all of our viewers to uh, roll up their sleeves as well. Thank you. I'm glad. They should. There are a lot of flooring products on the market. You need to do a little research to see the advantages and disadvantages and see which one works better in your home. Well, I hope you feel inspired by Erlene and me to roll up your sleeves and do a little project in your own home and install a beautiful floor. That Arlene, she is one of the nicest people I know. And you know, she's not afraid to do a little work herself. But ladies, you've got to cut the nails. You know, that's just not going to work. But I will have to say, sometimes I do use them for a little screwdriver. You shouldn't do that, though. It'll just ruin your nails. Well, coming up, we're going to get our windows ready for the spring. Mary Claire Reynolds is here with solar insulation. And we're also going to be talking to Brett Gordon of Echo Views. He's going to talk to us about how we can get our windows and doors replaced in case they're not looking too good. Also, we're going to be talking about ribbon cakes. Don't know what that means? Well, you've got to come back with us because we'll show you.